ora ko Jai Ro toko ingoa ngati fato rake tiaro ngapui no ngati pre. This is my rugby team. This is my mum. Kia ora uh, ko Mark James Ro toko ingoa uh, he uri tene no ngati fato o rake uh, tiaro me ngapui. Um, yeah, this is my mum, Marma. I'll go first. Um, yeah, my experience as a haka kid um, was pretty, pretty amazing. Um, awesome experience. Um, just spending every Saturday, Sunday out at Awaho with my cousins and friends. Um, pretty much just swimming in the river all day. Yeah, the, the river. Jump at the start, so jump at the top of the river, swim all the way down to the mouth, come up and just repeat that all the way through. It was cracker, we never had a lifeguard, like there was no adults there. It was just kids like from, I don't know how old, we were... From babies. Yeah, yeah like nine, nine years old might have been the oldest kid down to <laughs> us who were like four or five years old. Mm, close your ears, all those health and safety people. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it, um, yeah, just lived and breathed it and um, yeah. For me personally, like it was cool having parents in the group, but to me they were just they were mum and dad, so they weren't idols as, as such. But um, growing up, um, so Uncle Howard definitely would have been one of mine. Um, you know, he was uh, awesome. Kaitata Kitani, he's a, a composer. He done all the put all the music behind all the all the songs. So um, definitely, definitely him um, in the Rangiwewehi space. Yeah, I was the same, I probably had uh, Howie Jr. growing up. Um, he was, because you know, he was quite um, uh, a staunch figure within Kapaka, and then uh, maybe before that, because I was, I grew up watching the old videos, like uh, Rangi Wewehi in 80, was it 84? 80, 83. Oh, 83. And uh, I was like, Eddie Rangi, Tia Kiawa, he was there. Um, he was there, Kaya, and he was, Legendary in himself and honestly, itchy feet every time it comes yeah. around, itchy feet. I've almost been convinced to join a certain team up north, but um, go. Yeah, nah. Honestly, itchy feet all the time, but then I, I think of all the the commitment and yeah. obviously looking back on it now, what mum and dad used to go through. Um, but I sort of. Yeah, almost regret not doing it yet because I want my kids to experience what I did um, growing up. And my kids are still young now, you know, usually still young as well, so um, they still have heaps of time to experience that. So um, I am keen, 100% keen. Just gotta, yeah. just gotta figure it out. I'm pretty keen too, but yeah, it's kind of like a full-time job, Kapahaka now. My hope is that uh, 2024, at the Tamaki Regionals, that our Fatua group is on stage, and my three, uh, my two boys, and my baby, um, and hopefully my Mokopuna Harmony, will be, who will be old enough, will be in that team, and they will, they will win. They'll be one of the winning teams from Tamaki that will head off to the next Tamatatini, wherever that will be. So we're learning the songs. Our kids are learning the songs. Um, I think it's only going to get better. Um, I'm going to just keep growing. And hopefully, yeah, maybe regionals or... 2024. 2024, or in the near future, we can get, we can put a pretty solid group together um, and all perform on stage. My aspiration is there to have a, have a kapaka team on stage and, yeah, hopefully perform, yeah, with the whanau. Take that off and then let the young ones take over. <laughs>